Wido. I'm Keigo Sato. Growing up, it was just me and my mom. My dad was up to his neck in debt. But one day, he just left, leaving us with all his debt. It was pretty tough for us, but my mom worked hard day and night to put food on the table. I wanted to help, so I wasn't planning on going to high school. I was going to get a job right after middle school. But my mom said, You can't do that! You have to go to high school! I really wanted to help her financially, but she wouldn't let me do that. She told me I had to go to high school no matter what, so I studied really hard and got accepted to one of the best high schools in the country on a full scholarship. Not having to pay tuition was a big plus for us. And mom... Oh, I'm so proud of you! ...was really proud of me. Finally, things were starting to go our way. But then, I didn't get along with my classmates. Some of them made fun of me for not having a dad, and being there on a full scholarship didn't help either. They started singling me out. I had no friends, or anyone I could talk to. But I didn't tell my mom. I didn't want to worry her. During recess, I studied outside by myself. I had to keep my grades up, but I couldn't focus in the classroom, so this was the only way. But then, one day, my mom collapsed at work and got rushed to the emergency room. The doctor said she had to be hospitalized for a while, so I decided to drop out of school and get a job. I started looking for a desk job in the city. A few months later, I finally got an offer from this company that sold nursing care products. The pay wasn't that good, but I was just a 16-year-old kid with no work experience, so I couldn't complain. When I told my mom the good news, she congratulated me, but she looked kinda upset. She probably felt bad that I dropped out of high school for her. Well, in that case, there was only one thing I could do. I'm gonna work my ass off and become a respected member of society and make her proud! There was a lot of work to do, even for a newbie like me. They asked me to photocopy documents, check for missing pages, order office supplies, and so on. It was mostly grunt work at first, but it kept me really busy. And it made me feel like I was part of the team. I didn't get to help with big projects and stuff, but I was still part of the team. And if I kept at it, I was sure they'd give me a chance. I decided to be patient. But even after six months, nothing changed. All I did was make photocopies and make coffee. So I decided to talk to my boss, Mr. Kitami. Um, I've been here for six months now. Is there anything I can do other than make photocopies and make coffee? Eh? What are you talking about? That's your job. I'm sorry. You want more work? Fine. Here. Then he kicked over the trash can. I didn't know what to say. I didn't want to make him angrier. So I started picking up the trash. Then he said to me, Wait, you think you can make it big if you work hard and keep at it, is that it? Um, yeah. Ah, I see. You got this whole thing wrong. Look, you're just here to do grunt work, okay? Nobody cares about you. Uh. And you didn't even go to high school, right? This is what happens when you don't study. I was speechless. Well, if you want more work, Fine. I can certainly help you with that. Then things started to get even worse for me. Mr. Kitami started picking on me. Every time he was upset about something, he took it out on me. This tastes ass! Make it again! What? You wanna quit? Fine by me. Remember, we don't need you. I'm sorry. I'll go make another one. It was tough. But I didn't even have a GED. This was the only job I had, and if I gave up now, what would my mom think? I just had to keep at it, but Mr. Kitami didn't like that. He kept picking on me, and it was getting worse by the day. He started dumping his workload on me. It was way too much work for one person, but he didn't care. And the other employees were enjoying this too. Nobody even tried to help me, but I was used to this. It was high school all over again. And I felt better whenever I saw my mom. How's work, dear? Yeah, it's okay. I'm still learning. 
I see. Well, keep at it. Hard work always pays off. I don't know. Hopefully. But... Then, many years later, something unexpected happened. What? Are we gonna lose our jobs? What? Apparently someone bought our company. I didn't think anybody was losing their jobs. I didn't know the details, but apparently, we were gonna be under new management. A few days later, the new CEO arrived at the office. His name was Mr. Mihashi. He was young, but very confident. On his first week here, he interviewed all the employees to see who was good at what. This was my chance. Maybe if I tell him about the situation I'm in, he might give me a chance. Maybe he'll talk to Mr. Kitami for me. Then things might finally get better for me. I was really looking forward to this interview. But then, Mr. Kitami came up to me and said, Just to be clear, you better not say anything to him. Try anything, and you're gone. Okay. Hey, who knows? He might fire you himself. Who needs a high school dropout anyways, right? <laughs> I guess he had a point. I didn't even have my GED. Maybe he wouldn't even listen to me. And if Mr. Kitami said anything bad about me, he'd probably believe him. It was his word against mine, and he was much older than me. So, this is hopeless. I thought this might be my chance, but I guess not. Nothing ever goes my way. Oh well. There's nothing I can do about it. A few hours later, it was time for my interview. The CEO seemed happy to see me, but I didn't know what to tell him. He saw the look on my face. He seemed a bit worried. So, uh, could you introduce yourself? Um, I'm Keigo Sato. I'm 19, and I've been working here for four years. I'm just the chore boy. 19? And you've been here for four years? Yeah. I dropped out of high school. He throws up for a second. He's probably gonna fire me. Maybe I should just quit. I was ready to give it all up, but then... Wait. Are you that kid who used to sit behind the building during recess? Huh? You're all grown up! I didn't recognize you! It's me, the janitor! What? You mean... It all started coming back to me. A few months before I dropped out, one day, I was studying behind the building to get away from my classmates. Then I ran into him! What are you doing here? You skipping class? Um, no. Don't look at me like that. I'm the janitor here. I'm supposed to be working, but... <laughs> what are you up to? I... My classmates pick on me, so... It was kind of weird at first. But we started hanging out behind the school. We didn't know anything about each other. But that was actually kind of nice. We talked about random stuff. Sometimes he helped me out with my homework. He was the only person that treated me like a human being. He was the only friend I had there. But then my mom got sick. So I had to say goodbye. Hey, I gotta quit school. What happened? You wanna talk about it? I'm here, kid. Well, my mom... I couldn't stop crying. I never cried in front of anyone. Not even my mom. But I just couldn't hold it in. I told him everything. All the feelings I had bottled up inside me just came bursting out. But talking to him helped out a lot. It helped me move on. Then, on my last day, I said to him, It won't be easy, but I'm gonna work really hard and make my mom proud. So wish me luck. Good luck to you too. Thanks, kid. That was the last conversation we had. I thought I'd never see him again. But, this is unbelievable! What are the odds, huh? He was really excited to see me. He looked like a completely different person, but it was him all right. And now, he was the CEO. I've been looking for you, kid. Really? Yeah. If it weren't for you, I wouldn't be here today. Then, he started telling me about how he became the janitor at my high school. His father owned a company. His upbringing was very tough. His father wanted him to be the next CEO, so he made him study really hard. Then, he got into one of the best high schools in the country. It was the same school I got into. Then he got into a good university and got a degree in business. Then he started working for his father, but they had a big disagreement about the direction of the company. 
the company was in trouble, so Mr. Mihashi came up with some ideas on how to make things more efficient, but his father didn't listen to him. He kept trying to convince him, but eventually, he just gave up and left the company. Then one day, he ran into his old teacher from high school. When he told him about what happened, he offered him a job at his old high school, and that's how he ended up becoming the janitor. But he hated his job. He spent most of his days behind the building, playing with his phone. A few years later, his mom called him and told him that his father was sick, and the company was in a lot of trouble. She asked him to help them out, but he didn't want anything to do with them, so he said no. Then he ran into me. At first, he just talked to me to kill some time, but when I told him about my situation, he was shocked. You were just a kid, but you were gonna drop out of high school to help out your mother. Hearing that, it made me feel like an idiot, you know? You really opened my eyes. After I left, he quit his job and went back to see his father and made peace with him. Then he went back to work for his company. After years of hard work, he was able to get the company back on its feet. Then they decided to expand their business by buying other companies. A few months later, they decided to buy our company. So my life story inspired him to do all that? I had no idea! It's an honor to be working with you, kid. This is wonderful! It's like a dream come true! Thank you, sir. The pleasure's all mine. But then, when he asked me about my job, I couldn't say much. He was the CEO, and I was still the chore boy. I didn't know what to say. But then, he looked over at me with those gentle eyes and said, Hey, if there's anything you want to talk about, I'm right here. I'm sorry! It's just that I've been working really hard and I... I couldn't stop crying. I told him everything. I told him how the other employees picked on me and how they treated me like a servant. I couldn't stop talking. He just sat there and listened to me. After I was finally finished, he got up and told his secretary to call Mr. Kitami to the office. Sir? Don't worry. I got your back. Mr. Kitami came to the office. He started asking him some questions. Mr. Kitami denied everything I said. He said he was just doing his job as my boss. Then he said it was tough love. I couldn't take it anymore. But you poured coffee on me! How do you explain that? Shut up, Aaron boy! Uh, I mean, I, I didn't mean to- I've heard enough. You think it's okay to treat people like this, huh? We don't need people like you in this company. Apologize to my friend and get out. Never come back here again. But sir... Zip it! Get your stuff and go! Now! You wanna sue me? Fine! But I want you out! Get out of here! He wanted him gone. There was nothing Mr. Kitami could say now. He believed everything I told him. He trusted me. And he called me his friend. It was nice to have someone on my side for a change. Then he went around the office and told everyone to apologize to me. He then told everyone about me. How I dropped out of school for my family. How I ended up here. How we met each other back in high school. After that, everyone apologized to me for the way they treated me. They finally understood my situation. And that meant a lot to me. Mr. Mihashi worked in the same room as us. He didn't work out of the president's office like most CEOs did. And he didn't care much about the level of education or your past accomplishments. Instead, he put a lot of emphasis on results and personal character when evaluating his employees. Under his management, the company grew even bigger. Employee morale improved significantly. Needless to say, Mr. Kitami was long gone. He actually came back a few times, begging Mr. Mihashi for his job back but he never said yes. He kept begging me for forgiveness too, but I just couldn't do it, so he had no choice but to quit. He was having a pretty rough time finding work, but oh well, not my problem. Then, a year later, Mr. Mihashi and I were at the hospital visiting my mom. We had some great news for her. Wow, so you're his secretary now. He gave me a big promotion. I was now his secretary. He's brilliant, ma'am. He's the best secretary ever. I'm really proud of him. Good to hear. I'm proud of him, too. Great job, honey. 
Oh, stop it, you two! Anyways, it was a rough couple of years. But, glad everything worked out. <laughs>